and, but you shouldn't start the sentence with and, I'm back in the saddle, and there goes business daily. It's a bank holiday weekend, the 24th of August 2013. How close is that to Christmas? Anyway, it's five to seven, British summer time, and I'm off to Newport. Newport. And over there. Past Cafe Nero, which isn't open. Coffee number one, as owned by Brains. Let's go. I think we'll start here today. And that's eight o'clock. They should be open. As the clouds look heavy, and I wonder will we get away without rain? A pint from just down the road in Cardiff, Brins Brewery, British summertime, with cloudy and wet weather on the pump clip. 4.1% alcohol by volume. Looks like a golden ale, as befits summer. I hate to say it, because I've never been able to before, but I can taste a hint of grapefruit in there. Apart from that, it's nicely bittered. A nice bitter finish. B++? Not sure if I should have drunk a Brains British Summertime, because it's looking increasingly grey and dark out there. Come on Derek, come back to Wales, we need you to sort out the weather. Anyway, this is an Australian pale ale, top fermented, bottled conditioned. Cooper's original pale ale, 4.5% alcohol by volume. It looks more like a golden ale, but you know, that's off to the Oz. Hmm. Nicely carbonated, fizzy, in a non-fizzy sort of way. That's nice, and different. And a nicely bittered finish, B+. There seem to be flowers everywhere. But number two, the Larry. A picture so I'll remember. Golden Boat by Box Stream Brewery, 3.8% alcohol by volume. And John Wallace Linton, anyway. Sort of lemony. Sort of be Jeffrey had some bitter 3.8% alcohol by volume from Oak Nails. I'm altogether sure, and I should be, I think these are from, or well, this is from the Isle of Man, the Manx community, oldest democracy in the world. Not that we have a democracy anyway. Anyway, looking forward to the Belgian Grand Prix. Lemon, grapefruit, citrus. That's nice. It's a B plus. 
I hesitate to say, but it could be Croft. Chips. And they smell lovely, even from here. The pen and wig, rear entrance. Also close to the toilets. This is Zool, Z, because I'm in the UK, not Z. Double O L, a by Tiny Rebel, 4.8% alcohol by volume, a limited edition batch. When it's gone, it's gone. Mm. And Bobby Liz. Mm. A minus. Tiny Rebel, the hoppy loveliness. Yo. And this we look a little bit cloudy, and that's because it is. Apparently, it's been sitting in the cellar since Tuesday, and today's Saturday. Maybe it hasn't had any fangs added to it, but I've already tried it, and it's fine. This is White Horse by Saucers Brew, 4.5%. Alcohol by volume. Here we go. Oh, nice and bitter. Mm. That is perfectly fine. I would say that's a bitter. A classic bitter. B plus.